I'm John Valentino, president of John and Bob's, and I'm here with Chris, and uh, we had a unique opportunity. Usually when uh, people contact me, they have uh, gardens and problems far away from me. But Chris contacted me with a problem regarding his lawn, and I quickly determined he was right here in Fresno in my town. So I, I contacted him and, and asked if we could work together and try to solve it, and we'd document it. And, um, so that's what we did. We're going to tell you about that today, uh, give you an idea of the results we got with John and Bob's. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Chip and I plan to be doing a lot more uh, videos for you. If you like them, please click on like and click on subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every Sunday when we uh, post our new videos. I want you to just describe the problem you were having and, and then we'll talk a little bit about what we did about it. But what was the problem and what had you done previously to try to address it? Yeah, it was about, it was about three years ago when I, when, I, when I made contact with you and I noticed during the springtime, you know, I uh, was waiting for the grass to come about green and I, I just noticed nothing was really transitioning at that time and I, I started to notice a decline on, on the edges of the lawn. Um, uh, my go-to fertilizer was sulfate of ammonia, it was 2100, and I would put that on every spring really thick, and this particular season it just, something was happening, and uh, it would just grew worse. So uh, that's when I started to look on the online and trying to find out kind of what was going on with the lawn. Uh, trying to find out pictures of other people's yards and maybe we having the same issue and maybe find out what they were doing to improve it. And then I saw the, um, you know, your website on there and I noticed it was a local company. So I reached out to you. I started to use the, your product called Blend. Um, John brought it over. We put two bags on it. Uh, that's about 80 pounds and I put it throughout the yard. And two weeks later he bought me some more. and. Uh, uh, I noticed the Bermuda woke up. It started to come back and uh, the areas that were really, really bad started to fill in. It started to fill in, it started to green up. But I was on the verge of, of uh, resodding the whole yard. And I was had some companies and there were two, three thousand dollars to reseed this area. And, and I met John and we kind of struck a deal. And he told me, you know, hey, you can use my product. If it doesn't work for you, you know, you don't owe me nothing, <laughs> you know, and that was pretty cool. So I said, okay, and uh, so we struck a deal and uh, I've been a kind of go-to with Blend and uh, Penetrate from there on in. I'm exclusively, I use the John and Bob's products. So when you first had the problem, you went to Home Depot to try to uh, figure out what to use. Yes. How did you decide uh, what did you find there and how did you, why did you use ammonia sulfate? Just, I looked at the bag, it said quick green up. That caught my attention, brought it home and um, I started to put it on the yard. And uh, it, did, it did come up green, but, and then it gradually dropped. And that's when I ran into some pretty bad issues right there. Uh, one of the issues with synthetic fertilizers of any kind, particularly ammonia sulfate and Really, every fertilizer that is sold at Home Depot for lawn is bad for soil. And that's what you ran into. What we ended up concluding after you treated it is that you did have a soil issue here. So even though um, something like ammonia sulfate uh -huh. usually is good for grass, and it'll prompt growth, it's bad for soil. And that's the opposite of what we're trying to do with our products. Our products are good for soil and then allow the soil to feed the, the grass or the plant. Mm -hmm. And in the, your case, we believe it had a, a fungal disease. And the best way to uh, combat a fungal, fungal disease is to fill your soil with good fungi. And that's the that's what whole happened. idea of, yeah. the, of the blend. Now, to be fair to Home Depot, I went and checked this morning. And uh, if you look for all their products for lawn, 
uh, are bad for soil. Uh, they will turn lawn green very quickly by feeding the plant directly, but they're bad for soil. They do have some good products uh, in very small bags um, that you wouldn't, mm -hmm. you wouldn't know to buy for your lawn. Uh, one's uh, Dr. Earth and one's uh, Kellogg. Okay. And those are both good products uh, by good manufacturers who are using the same concepts that we're okay. using. Okay, okay so what we've focused on in bringing this turf back is blend, nourish biosol, and penetrate. And penetrate. And the whole idea of all of those is that they, they, uh, they feed the soil at the same time they feed the plant, but we're focusing on soil health. So if there's anything wrong with mm -hmm. your soil, you cure it with those kinds of products by building beneficial life. And um, while that's happening, you're, um, you're creating very green, uh, lush uh, turf. And right now, today, even though your lawn's doing great in uh, most of the areas, you have some areas on the edge of the turf right. that it still hasn't filled in completely. We were discussing that it could be that when he does his applications, depending on how, like especially if you use a whirlybird spreader. Do you use a whirlybird spreader? I took your uh, recommendation and I just threw it on by hand. Threw it on by okay. hand. Yeah, that worked uh, out the best. But it. One possibility is that you're, li you're getting less of the product on the edges of the turf. And uh, so we talked about you um, trying to make an effort to put more of the product on the edges of the turf. Right now in the middle of June, we're at 100 degrees here in Fresno and I can come with blend and throw it on and it will not burn the lawn at all. You won't have to you just even if you don't water it, you know, you get around to it a day or two, you can put this stuff down and it will not burn your yawn, your lawn. And um, and it works really, really great. One of the most common questions I get is how to combat and defeat weeds in turf. And uh, we did a whole video on it that we titled uh, weed and feed, don't use weed and feed, which is a bad value. Um, and this uh, lawn is an excellent example of my first recommendation, which is to get your lawn as strong and healthy as possible. And, and mow it properly, mow it regularly. Most weeds can't tolerate um, constant mowing, a few can. But the health and the vitality of the turf is the best way to uh, prevent and defeat weeds. If there's still a problem after you have the healthiest uh, lawn possible, then you can figure out uh, uh, specific ways of combating um, the weed that you have. But uh, Chris's lawn is an excellent example, and he was just uh, telling me about yeah. that you had previously used Dimension, which is a good pre-emergent. I'd prefer to avoid pre-emergence if you can. What's been your experience with uh, using a pre-emergent? Uh, well, last couple of years, I, yeah, I, I've used it. Um, but what I noticed after the first year, the next year that came up, the next growing season, I noticed there wasn't much weeds. So, but I did put another application to mention. But this year, this particular year, um, I usually put it down in February. Um, I said, you know, I'm not going to put any down. Let's see what happens. And here we are in June, and usually I'll get spurge out here. I'll start to see crabgrass, um, and I'll just pull it out. But there's absolutely nothing on the lawn right now, and I didn't use I used zero dimension this year. So dimension, even though dimension is a good pre-emergent, dimension and all pre-emergents aren't good for soil. Um, sometimes it's necessary to use it if uh, you know the alternative is weeds everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I don't say never use it but I do say try to figure out ways of not using it. And the, and the way what you've done here is perfect, which is um, make the lawn as healthy as possible, water it properly, mow it properly, and you're gonna uh, remove most of the weed problems. And if some mm -hmm. persist, uh, you can either, either use Dimension on a spot basis in other years, or you can use other products uh, to get rid of whatever specific weed you have. Hey there, friends. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. If you enjoyed this video, have any questions, or just want to say hi, let us know in the comments below. 
Want to learn more about our products? Then head over to our website, www.johnandbobs.com.